Good morning. Today we are going to do the arrow stitch. Um, I've had some folks ask me about my foundation row. So um, I will tell you about my foundation row. And I will show you it. Now for the arrow stitch you are going to need a even number. So we're going to chain 12. Two. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now, I like to use the back hump of the stitch um, just because sometimes I think it helps with keeping it a little flatter. So we won't go into this first one, but then we'll go into this next one. And we're going to do simple Tunisian stitch, which is we're going to go through and pull up a loop. We may have a cat that's coming to visit here in a second. Um, Ronan is kind of curious as to what I'm doing, so if you see a cat come across the screen, you'll know exactly why. Because he is my little hose nose kitty. And see, he's talking to me now because he wants to know what I'm doing. And I gave up trying to keep them off the table, other than trying to get them used to staying off the table when I am eating. Um, simply because the person who gave them to me fed them on the table because she had dogs. So they're used to being on the table. All right, your return pass is as normal. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, all the way to the end. This is what I mean when I talk about doing a foundation row. And yes, I am using a large hook. I am using my L hook, which is an eight millimeter hook. Now, we're ready to start the arrow stitch. And it's going to confuse you guys. It is a two-row repeat. Now, we are going to do as what is, this is called a standard decrease for Tunisian stitch. But you're going to do that for the first part of the repetition. You're going to go through two, pull up a loop. It is a simple Tunisian stitch. Pull through, two, pull up a loop. Go through the next two, pull up a loop. Go through the next two, pull up a loop. Go through the next two, pull up a loop. And then you get to the end and we'll do the neat closure, which is go through the last two, pull up a loop. Now, you'll notice we'd started with 12. How did I do that? I think I started with 13. That's not going to work, folks. Oh well. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. 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 Now, the next row, we are going to do the Tunisian simple stitch through the first vertical bar. Then you have a space, and we are going to do a full stitch. Tunisian full stitch, pull up a loop. Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian full stitch. Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian full stitch. Tunisian simple stitch, followed by a full stitch. Tunisian simple, followed by a full stitch. And then we'll do the neat closing, go through those two, pull up a loop. Now you will notice the first row we had seven stitches, we now have 12. That is perfectly normal. Then 
We are going to yarn over, pull through one. It is the standard return row. Yarn over, pull through two. 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 All the way across to the end. Now we will again start the repeat for this row. And the repeat is go through the next two vertical bars, pull up a loop. Go through the next two vertical bars, pull up a loop. Go through the next two vertical bars, pull up a loop. Go through the next two vertical bars, pull up a loop. Go through the next two vertical bars, pull up a loop. We get to the end and we will do that neat closing, which is go through the two, pull up a loop. Then our return pass is the same. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. <clears throat> All the way across. Then we will begin the return. <clears throat> Sorry about that. The second repetition, which is a Tunisian simple stitch, followed by a full stitch. Tunisian simple stitch, followed by a full stitch. You repeat that all the way across to the last stitch, which you will do again in that while we call a neat stitch. Which is going through the last two, yarn over, pull up a loop, then your return pass is the same, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that is the two row repeat that you need to do the arrow stitch. Now, this is what happens. Um, you do see that arrow stitch in there. And you'll notice it does curl up. That is the front. This is the back. And of course, you've got your neat stitches on that front and then neat stitches on the back, which are just the opposite of the front. So that's it for this stitch, the arrow stitch. Next week, we will do the modified arrow stitch. Like I said, this is a two row repeat. The first row, after you get your foundation stitch row, is to Go through the two vertical bars with the Tunisian simple stitch. Pull up that loop. You'll repeat that all the way across to the end. And you'll, of course, will put your neat stitch in that last two. And then your return passes as normal. And then the second row repeat is a Tunisian simple followed by a full stitch in the space between. It's a real simple stitch. Um, it does create a nice kind of almost airy. It's not as thick as some of the other stitches. But yes, you do have some curling. And that is it for the Tunisian arrow stitch.